Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we shall discuss blocks in PLSQL. In the previous video we had seen uh, in general what are all the different types of blocks in PLSQL. So, here we shall see what exactly is a block and you know why PLSQL is also called as a block structured language. So, basically in PLSQL a block is you know one piece of program it contains up to four different sections and a PLSQL block contains four blocks. So, here you could see there are four blocks declare block, begin block, exception block and end block. All these four individually are called as blocks and a group of them also is called as a block itself. So, a PLSQL block contains four blocks declare block, begin block, exception block and end block out of these four blocks, uh, all these four blocks may not be used all the times. Instead of that, you could see declare block where you declare your variables, types, you know cursor, exception, so many things. So, if you have to declare certain things, you will use the declare block, otherwise declare block is not mandatory, it is an optional part of a PLSQL block. Now, about the begin block begin block will contain your executable code uh, that means you know your database business logic this is definitely a, a mandatory block because your code will be here in this block and it is necessary you know it is necessary for you to use this block ok. Uh, following to begin block you have got exception block and in the exception block if you want to handle a possible exception that might occur in the execution of your program then uh, you will handle that exception here. This block that is exception block also is an optional part. If you want to handle an exception, you will write this block otherwise uh, there is no need of that. And the last block is an end block which definitely is a mandatory block. And this end block will only contain one slash mark right that will be the file end mark. So, that will be the last part of the PLSQL block. And as you could see the declare block, begin block, exception block, these blocks like the words of those blocks, the word declare, the word begin, the word exception, they do not have semicolon. Whereas, the end blocks, the word end, it has a semicolon. So, please understand the difference. This is uh, you know a block structure and this is the reason PLSQL is called as a block structured language because in PLSQL what you write down will go into any out of these four blocks itself. Outside these blocks nothing is there. These blocks are called as like these individual blocks are called as blocks and a group of them also is called as block itself. So, that is the reason basically you know PLSQL is called as a block structured language as well. Now, these are this is you know basically the structure for PLSQL block and PLSQL block uh, blocks are basically divided into two categories, two types of PLSQL blocks, anonymous block and named block. Anonymous block which is uh, you know the first kind and named block which is also called as a sub program that is of the second type or second kind and uh, procedure or function they are you know basically named blocks. Now, a little about anonymous block, an anonymous block is an unnamed PLSQL block uh, which is meant only for one time use. So, unnamed block or anonymous block, there is no name and therefore, it is not saved in the database, it is just executed and that is it, it is only for one time use just like you know a normal SQL query. Now, going forward, let us see an example of uh, anonymous block. As you could see on the screen, this block has uh, only one statement that is to print hello oracle. So, let us try this you know uh, on uh, SQL star plus. So, as you could see here, I am writing the program here gbms underscore you know output dot put underscore line 
and here I will simply print hello oracle followed by you know end block and the end mark right I need to set I need to set server output on and you could see hello world hello world is the output on the screen. So, this is an example of of an normal PL SQL block which is an anonymous block. So, to summarize we have seen that uh, PL SQL is a block structured language because whatever write down in PL SQL everything goes into block itself. It basically has four blocks declare block, begin block, exception block and the end block. In addition to that uh, there are basically two types of blocks that is anonymous block and named block and we also have seen an example of you know of an anonymous block. If you have any kind of questions please write them in the comments and uh, to watch more such videos please visit nourishtechnologies on youtube.com. Thank you.